Hey, this is John Hardison from Studio 113 at East Hall High School in Gainesville, Georgia. Today, let's look at how to quickly set up and share a wall of notes via Wallwisher or what is now called Padlet. Let's get going. And let's go right here to Wallwisher. Also, like I just said, it is now called Padlet. Let's go right here and get going. Build a new wall. It'll come up blank. I want to customize it immediately. Let me go to Modify Wall. I could use a number of these pictures they give you, or I can add my own. I'm going to add a logo of our class. I'm going to use a compressed version. And as soon as I hit Submit, there's our logo. And what I want to do now is add a title. I'm going to do something I have preloaded right here. And I'm going to paste that in. As you can see, this would not take any time at all, hardly. I simply have already typed this up to speed things up just a bit. Let me go here and paste that in. And now, as you can see, we have a logo, we have our title, we have some instructions. Now, what I want to do is add a wallpaper right here. They give you a bunch to choose from. Let me just see if I want to customize mine. Let's go here. Again, go back to my pictures. I'm not going to use the compressed version this time. I'm going to use a bigger one so that it doesn't come in as the tile feature. It comes in stretched. And let's upload that. It should take just a little bit longer since it's a larger file. And let's click Submit. There it is. Now, of course, all we would need to do is to invite students to this wall and ask them to double click and start to share notes and media and pictures and whatever else relates to our topic of study. Let's go now and look at privacy. From here I could click on private and make it obviously private or I could password protect it. As it is right now by default it's a hidden link but students can write on that and all they have to do is be able to find that link which I would share with them on my teacher page or via Twitter or whatever else I need to use. If you click here it's totally public and it's easily searchable. What I want to do now is show you the address. You can also customize your address. Here is the actual address that it gives you, but if you wanted to, you could click here and you could click in some things and see if it accepts it. And you can see that one right there would be accepted. If I clicked pick here, it would change here and of course here. For the sake of this exercise, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click away and I want to show you one last thing. You can easily share this wall. When I scroll right here, the embed code is immediately copied. And of course, you can use a QR code right here or this link. So what I'm going to pretend that I have done, and I actually have a little bit earlier, is already embedded this on my teacher page. So here's my home page of my teacher page. Let's go back past our Vokey avatar and click on flipped class. Here we go. And briefly, this is an informational survey about our flip class, Create a Movie, in which we're creating a full-length movie in American Lit Honors next year. And right below the informational survey, I have embedded a Wallwisher or Padlet wall of notes. It's basically identical, except you can see I've already added some notes and some links. All right, I hope you enjoy Wallwisher or Padlet, and uh, you'll see that it's very, very simple to use. Thank you.